already. Since I have LED tail lights, I'm doing something that I probably should have done a while ago, but it's, uh, well, they don't really have them. I want to get a full LED replacement for this, but uh, they don't make them for the extended cabs. You can get it for standard cab and crew cab. GM made the standard cab and the crew cab the same. For some reason, they decided to make the extended cab an oddball, and it's completely different. The uh, You can't get them, you, they won't fit <clears throat> these. You can do a little modification and make them fit, but um, I decided to go a little different route. One reason I wanted to replace it, see that. Those, these uh, do that. So, what I did is I bought this kit right here. comes with a smoked, smoked lens and some LEDs, uh, circuit boards that have the connectors on it. So take the T15s out and I'll hook these up. There's the old lens. It's it's melted. Here's the factory gasket. Wow. It actually melts the inside of this too. Dang, it's actually cracked down in there too. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Interesting. Yeah. It's actually cracked the housing and melted the housing on the inside. Heh. Interesting. Now, it's the fun part to figure out which side these go on. Luckily, since you can see the tracks, <clears throat> you just hook one of them up and you hook the other one up. You know, let's say this is negative, then negative positive, negative positive. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to test that out. That, that ought to be fun. All right, well, this inside bus bar is positive and the outside is negative, so I'm positive and negative on this other one. Now I just got to figure out where I am going to stick these things. You don't want them just flopping around. Um, That would probably be the best part right there. I'll probably put them both like that. Put the cover on. See what it looks like. And go from there. Alright, this is how I decided to do it. I'm just gluing it on the... Or double siding taping it on top of the, the bar. Basically over these pieces. But before I do that, I'm putting a, putting a piece of tape. Uh, over the connections just so it doesn't short out against the positive side on that side and negative side on this side. Put some tape on it and then sticking it on top of this. And there it is. Now this didn't come with a new gasket. You can get a gasket from the same people that make this. Mo Forkit. Mo Forkit. Um, they, they do make a new gasket. Um, but I guess this this one the factory one's still good. I just put it back so Stick that on there The smoke lens does I might buy the clear lenses and just see the the, the lenses themselves aren't that expensive you can buy the clear uh, Smoke like this is or you can buy a factory red one um, I might buy the clear kit and swap back and forth and see which one I like better um but that dims it a little bit, but makes it LED. So it's not too bad. But uh, yeah, that de the <clears throat> the smoke definitely makes it really dark. But uh, yeah, all that's left is to screw that down, and y'all don't have to see that. But uh, yeah, so uh, putting some LED lights on in a and a smoke lens on an extended cap, uh, Sonoma or S10. There 
Here it is with the saran wrap off. And yeah, my ID bar is still messed up. That's that stupid Opta 7 piece of crap that didn't last eight months. But yeah, this is it for real. Like I said, I'm probably going to order the clear lens and see what that does. But yeah, I do like the blacked out look though. Talk to y'all later. Bye.